Welcome back to Tweak TV. My name is Jacqueline and I am your business strategist and stylist. And I am here to inspire you to be a more resilient leader in your business and in your life. And today I have something really special for you, something that I love talking about, and that is resiliency. And today I'm gonna to share with you a few elements that I like to to go to and refer to when I'm dealing with adversity and I really need to overcome a lot. Um, and here's what they are. So number one is really know yourself. Be really clear about the things that you want and who you are and what your boundaries are and your policies, your personal policies. This will set you up for success whenever you're dealing with adversity and help you make really great decisions that align with your values. Number two is have a support system of family and friends and entrepreneur friends too, and make sure that they really believe in you, they uplift you, and they really are thinking about your success and are there for you when you're struggling. This is super essential um, moving forward in your business and growth is to make sure that you know that you have reliable people there and that you're reliable for them too. It goes both ways. Number three is Everyone should do this no matter where you're at in your life, and that is prioritize your health. A healthy lifestyle as an entrepreneur is essential to our productivity, our success, the 150% we bring every day to our business, our creativity, everything. Find a style of workout that you really love that is realistic for your schedule. Make sure that you set yourself up with healthy options for food, snacks in your bag. I always carry around granola bars and things like that to make sure that I'm eating. A lot of us don't eat and this is really, really important. Number four is have fun. Make sure you stop and have fun because if we're so serious all the time, how are we gonna find the joy in our business and life? And how are we gonna deal with hard things as they come when we're already so serious to begin with? Number five, be open to change. Now, doing this is not easy at all because we, especially as entrepreneurs, business owners, we work so hard to have a plan. We work so hard to try to stay on our deadlines and get things done. Um, and one of the things we have to realize that a lot of us forget is that the plan changes, that we get new information about our businesses, our goals, our projects, and we have to be open to change. We have to be open that something may happen, even in the world, like in the news, current events, things may change our business, plans, visions, goals, projects, because of the timing, or maybe you lose an employee or a partnership, is changing or those kinds of things. We just have to be open to change, but go at it in a really optimistic possible way because the possibilities are endless whenever there is change and there's new opportunity for you to reinvent not only yourself, but your business goals and vision. So really take the time to sit with that feeling of being open to the possibility. Number six is really one of my favorites, and that is stay creative. Now, if you've ever read, read Elizabeth Gilbert's book, Big Magic, you probably love it as much as I do. And if you haven't, you definitely need to get her book, Big Magic, and I'll put the link below. It's really about unleashing this creativity within you and creating things unapologetically and knowing that you have something special to share, but also to enjoy. So staying creative is essential to our ability to be innovative too in our businesses and really unleashes our power as someone who is a visionary. And a lot of entrepreneurs are visionaries and I challenge you to go and just create something. It could even be something simple, just kind of experiment. Uh, for me, sometimes it's with cooking. Whenever I have no groceries, I think it's a challenge to try to make something out of nothing. And for me, that's creative. It's being resourceful. It's looking at the little things um, and making the most of what you have. Number seven is ask for help. 
Now, no one ever got anywhere doing anything alone. So asking for help is not a weakness. Asking for help is a way to say, I am human too. I am confident enough and open to change. I'm open to growth. And I truly know that I want to succeed. So if I have to ask for help to get things done, to accomplish my goals, then I will. And it's also a way for you to be vulnerable to others and show that it's okay to be imperfect too or to have difficulty and struggle. This is something that is really supportive for your other peers in your entrepreneur group or in your family. And it is really essential to just creating a really supportive community. Number eight, believe that you have all the tools right now at your command to make things happen in your business and life. No one else is gonna believe in you as much as you can believe in yourself. And that's because you know your story, you know what you've been through, you know your capabilities, your skills, your passions, but oftentimes we ignore them. And when we're feeling doubts and fears, we forget all of those things that we know about ourselves. We also live in a society that doesn't support us to really be proud of the person that we are. Um, instead, we're told that we, ha we can't boast about our successes as much. We can't, um, we can't describe our skills or our assets because it makes us look like we're narcissistic or, um, selfish or those kinds of things. And I would challenge that there is a very healthy balance where you can truly believe in yourself and celebrate it and share it. And especially when you're dealing with adversity, it is, it, it is super important that you believe in yourself. You want to dance? The last thing I recommend for dealing with adversity in your business and life is to dance it out. Do something silly, just act out, just completely don't care what anybody else thinks and just let it all go, just let go. And my favorite affirmation that I use when I'm dealing with anything hard is let go and love more. And sometimes this affirmation has to do with letting go of the control in general of a situation, but giving love, right? So giving love either to yourself if you're being hard on yourself or giving love to others. Maybe we're super critical of people around us or someone frustrates us or disappoints us. And I think it's really important that instead of trying to control everything, that we just try to give love and openness and really just try to understand the whole situation. So let go, let loose, give love, dance it out. I mean, these are just so essential to being an awesome, resilient leader and someone that other people wanna be around. So I hope that you find this inspiring because this is my resiliency toolbox for success. This is something that I want to share with way more people. And if you find this helpful, please share with your friends or people you think really could benefit from a little bit of tips to overcome a hardship. Um, otherwise, please subscribe to this channel if you really like these kinds of videos. We have more stuff coming around the corner. The next video is going to be all about tweaking your workspace for success. And I'm gonna give you a couple style tips on how to do that and some elements for a really inspirational workspace. And yeah, so stay tuned. Every Tuesday there are new episodes and I really appreciate your time and look forward to having you come back.